I won't lie to you guys. I was super excited to hop into this episode until I saw the title. It's called Broken Heart, and that makes me feel like it's going to be one of our characters that have a broken heart, and I don't want to see that. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu Season 4, Episode 16. Last episode, we ended off with Yamaguchi clutching up like always. It is still very intense. It could be anyone's game. It's still the first set, and we're on Episode 16 of Season 4. So this, I know we're not finishing Nationals in the season. I just know that. Like, that's obvious. So I cannot wait for Season 5. I don't know if it's been announced yet. I don't think so. If it has, and I don't know, could you guys tell me if it hasn't? Is there an estimate on when it will be announced or when it will be coming out like a plan? I have no idea. I, all I know is I'm so excited for this episode. So excited to find out what happens in the rest of Nationals. So I say we hop right into this. Remember, if you guys want early access to full length, early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, that Patreon is always in the description for you guys. Please leave a like and a comment if you guys want to support me and help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Q Season 4, Episode 16, Broken Heart. Let's do this. Is this why this is called Broken Heart? Oh no, this better not be about Kanoka and Tanaka. This better not be. I will be pissed if, if one of them gets a broken heart. I want them to have like 75 kids together. Tanaka is comedy. Oh... We, we finally get to see Tanaka flashback. We've been getting hints of him the last few episodes. He is a second year uh, along with Kinoshita and Anoshita as well, right? This is the first time you met Kyoko. Oh, she's so graceful as she comes in. Just beautiful as always. <laughs> I can't lie. I would probably have the same face as he, as he does right now. Just smitten. Oh, that wasn't Enoshita. That was Enoshita. The first words he says to her are that. I can't blame him, though. This is the start of Tanaka right here. This is how it became to be. Let me know, guys, because I'm slacking. That was Kinoshita, Enoshita. Who was the last character on Karasuno right there? He's definitely subbed in. Was it Narita? Who's that one? No, what? Ah. Uh... I don't know, I don't remember. Aww. Being so simple and devoted. Probably is. We all need friends like Tanaka in our lives, though. Kageyama's a gangster. Who does my man bun maniac think he is? You're totally like an ace. Hell yeah. <laughs> I have a very good feeling this is going to be a Tanaka episode and I love it. Tanaka? Oh, they read that perfectly. And now it's 24-24. They're even saying, yeah, they're even saying aim for Tanaka. Okay. I have faith in my man Tanaka. I have the utmost faith. He can feel it. He can feel the aura, the nen. Come on. Hell yeah. Embrace it. Come on, Tanaka. Come on. I mean, that's great that Nishinoya did that, but I also... He is feeling it himself. He wants to be a part of the team. I get it. Daichi? Let's go. Let's go. We need one more. Come on. And he missed, but he saved it anyway. Oh, 
Yes. Yes, Seiko. Hanaka and Tsuki with the stop. Oh, he hit a cross from there. Damn. Okay, Suna. He's calling it. He's calling it. Come on. I feel so bad for my fucking man. See the spot? See the golden spot that you can hit? That was out, wasn't it? Yeah, I was making this. Oh, this is being horrible. It really does. Yeah, all of those things being stacked on top of Tanaka right now. Oh man. Oh man. I have I have a strong feeling that this shirt is gonna be Tanaka by the end of the episode, though. Even though this is Hinata, I need this. I need this to be my man Tanaka right now. So this is when he was a first year. Everyone else is second years. Oh yeah. Daichi being so optimistic, kind-hearted. I love that. It's not easy, but it is that simple. <laughs> you just gotta win. Don't let it get to you, just get better. Prove them wrong. No one calls you guys that anymore. <laughs> I love the way they're like they that gets to them too. Like they don't just take it. They're not pushovers. They internalize that and use it as motivation. I would, I'd probably feel the same exact way that these guys are fucking amazing. I'd want to follow them anywhere. I know it looks like I'm crying, and I might be, but it's just my allergies, I promise. So that's how he cut his hair. I got it. Ever since then, he's been the baldy Tanaka. And it feels like everything's going wrong for my boy during this match, and I feel so bad. And I love how it's Daichi, the one who says that as well. He does feel it. The guys who were calling him Energetic Baldy last episode are saying, come on. That's true. That is true. Ishinoya left. Asahi left. He's simple and devoted, man. And he has the mental fortitude of a legend. Nah, this is my fucking man. I've loved Tanaka since literally Hinata and Kageyama started calling him Senpai. In episode 3 or whatever. Facts. A hundred percent of facts. That's my boy. Call it every time. Hell oh, yeah. Oh, did he just not go to him when he called it? He gave it to Asahi instead. We got that, which is which is good, but... I need something to go to my man Tanaka for his mental... Yeah, I, I can't blame Tsukushima for going to Asa. He is the ace, but I definitely do think Tanaka needs this. Hell yeah. With Tsukushima. <laughs> that it, low key, it really was like one of Date Kogio's blocks. He came in out of nowhere to be that fucking supporting aid. Oh, is he now? Is he? The Dante Kogio support him, forcing you to do a straight, and we're receiving that. Yeah, that's the thing about players like Tanaka, though. 100%. 100%. I completely understand, 100%. I get 100% what he's talking about. I just wish he would also realize that there is that sort of pillar in every sort of building. In every foundation, you need that pillar that you can rely on. Like He doesn't realize how big of a role he plays 
because he's he, he doesn't get the spotlight in anything you know Hinata might be horrible at so many different aspects of volleyball but everyone knows him for his quick you know he's he has the bounce he's the speed he has this Yamaguchi's the serves Daichi's the Daichi's kind of like Tanaka in a certain aspect, but he's the captain. You have fucking Ishinoya, who's the best libero. Asahi, who's the ace. Kageyama, who's a god-tier setter. And then Tanaka, who's just been there from the beginning. He's decent. He's good at every single aspect. He's not insanely amazing, but he... Oh, I wish he realized the, the, the rock that he is for this team. My average self. You don't have time. I love the steps as he's walking up the steps into this uphill battle looking up this mountain he calls it again after how many times being shut down my man's fortitude is insane bro i'm telling you he's gonna overcome i swear to god Su suna is not gonna block this one i swear bro uh, that was like come on bro I'm over here fucking crying at how beautiful of a cross that was. Let's go. Now this one, I'll admit to you guys, is not allergies. This one's the show. I can't lie. <laughs> Even the people in the audience, come on. Baldy. The boys, hell yeah. That's my fucking dude. And that's the first set too. Ugh. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, he did. Heck no. That's so cute, man. He's just a genuine dude. That's what he does to people. Such a good guy. Those are the best kind of people, I swear. All right, I am glad I answered the high Q questions in the Q&A section last episode because, oh man, I'm kind of a wreck this episode, I won't lie. I I thought I was going to hate the title of this episode because it's called Heartbreak, Heartbroken, but I, I do love the meaning at the end because, like, especially coming from Kanoka, one of the only persons, one of the only people who've known him since he was a child, since he was that young, like... I don't want to say she's infatuated with him, but I think she is rightfully so just enamored with his personality. She has literally, he is one of the sole reasons she is as proud as she is of herself, as confident as she is, she's as good as she is at volleyball. And like, he's not the kind of guy to expect anything. He doesn't even realize that, you know, no one, ooh, shit's gonna get me going again. No one realizes, you know, how important you are to someone else until, you know, you know, Jesus, man, I'm telling you. I think that's what gets me so, like, into my feels and into my emotions is because, like, like we have uncut access into his brain and we know exactly how Tanaka is feeling when he so should not be feeling like that. Like, I understand completely why he calls himself lame, why he calls himself average, you know? I, I completely get it, but if he was able to go like us into everyone else's mind and know how important and how impactful he was into other people, you know, it's just crazy. So I really don't think him and Kanaka are going to get together sadly and have 75 kids like I wanted to. So I think she did get heartbroken and I think it's horribly sad because she's amazing. He's amazing, but oh man, that was a fantastic episode. I loved it throughout. I love the flashback of, of him being one of those, spunky rebellious teenagers and then seeing the mental fortitude and the strength of uh, Asahi Daichi and Sugawara and just you know wanting to literally follow them and be like them you know it's like I, I love Daichi's line where it's not gonna be easy but it is that simple let's win 
they won't talk like that about us anymore and we prove them wrong with our actions you know not with you know it's just it's and then he cut his hair and he just wanted to show his devotion he's so devoted it's it's just oh man i can't Tanaka's my fucking boy, senpai since episode like three or whatever, I'm telling you. Before I start balling again, I'm gonna head out of here. You guys enjoyed, please leave a like, let me know your thoughts. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out, you guys.